Hi, I'm Dr. Greg McDonald. I'm a veterinarian in Southern California. My practice is in Santa Barbara. I wanted to talk a little bit about dog care today. And one of the things that people are always worried about is cancer. Uh, cancer in the dog is not unlike cancer in humans. We can get all different types of cancer. We like to divide them into basically two types of cancer. One is benign. Uh, benign cancer is a tumor that starts to grow in your dog uh, that is not going to really harm him. It may look ugly. It may cause little problems in your dog, but it's not going to cause your animal's demise. Uh, the other type of cancer is a true cancer uh, that actually is growing very rapidly. Uh, it may be growing internally. It could get to be a, a large tumor. It could uh, actually cause your dog to bleed. Uh, it could be in a bone uh, of your dog. Uh, and uh, it become painful and even cause a bone fracture. So uh, people are often worried about cancer in dogs, uh, and the same is true with people and dogs. We get cancer usually as the animal ages. doesn't mean that a young dog doesn't have cancer, but we have it more predominantly in the older uh, animals. Um, dogs that uh, are getting cancer, usually the owners are noticing something's going wrong, and once again, it's very important to call your veterinarian, have a thorough physical exam, uh, some cancers can be seen externally. Some you need to do x-rays and ultrasound. Uh, others uh, may cause bleeding, uh, and so your dog becomes anemic or some other um, uh, mode of uh, diagnosis might be necessary. Um, in order to prevent cancer in the dog, there's several things that the owner can do. Uh, first of all, if you have your dog or cat spayed or neutered early in their lifetime, it will prevent them from getting cancer later on. Uh, early neutering uh, means between four and six months of age. Uh, spaying is the same thing between four and six months of age. Especially in the female dog, you know that if an animal has been spayed before or after their first heat cycle, uh, they don't get mammary gland cancer, uh, literally ever. Uh, male dogs don't get prostate cancer and other forms of cancer if they are again neutered early. Uh, cancer uh, seems to be hormonally related in some animals, so we can cut down the amount of cancer that your dog gets simply by early spays and neuters. Um, the other thing that's incredibly important is to keep your animal out of the sun. You shouldn't let uh, your dog just sunbathe all day long, especially if they're white breed. Uh, and also feeding them a really good quality dog food is very, very important. Um, there are a lot of rumors on the internet and a lot of rumors uh, that some of the, even the dog food manufacturers are talking about. Uh, natural uh, this and natural that doesn't necessarily mean that it's good quality. I think you should check in with your veterinarian and get recommendations for diet. Uh, uh, once again, some of the same things that are true for us, if, you, if you're not eating things that are overcooked, uh, too much fat in the diet uh, is not good for dogs either. This is a dog that we took a tumor out of last week. Uh, the tumor actually weighed eight pounds. It was up in the abdomen, and we shaved the area here, and you can actually see the incision line down here. We also uh, put an Elizabethan collar on this dog so that uh, the dog will not chew on the sutures. Uh, some dogs will chew on their sutures after they've had an operation, so that's why we have this on here. Uh, so once again, uh, be aware of what's happening with your dog. If you actually see any signs of cancer, uh, contact your veterinarian. They may want to do blood work, x-rays, and other things to diagnose it. And they'll also give you some ideas on how to treat it.